Alrighty guys, welcome back to Active Bullets. Today we're gonna to do a load data video. So today's video is on the 45 Colt 300 grain, but we're actually gonna use this bullet in a 454 Kazool cartridge. So that's kind of the neat thing about this bullet is that granted it is a 45 Colt, it's sized to the 452 diameter, just like the 454 Kazool. Um, so that's what we're gonna use it in. This bullet has one lube groove and then two crimp grooves, and we are actually crimping into the top crimp groove. So that puts our overall length at 1.675 for our case overall length on this guy. Um, for our powders, chose we chose the Accurate 1680, the Ramshot Enforcer, the H110, and then the IMR4227. And now two things about the powders is so like the H110 is known for being a very fine powder. And the neat thing about that Ramshot Enforcer, which I've never used, I loved it because it was so fine. It was fine as sand and it metered very, very well because of that. And I like that about that powder. It's kind of a neat powder. I did make a little short video about that. So go check it out if you haven't seen it. So these loads should range anywhere, for anywhere between 1200 feet per second all the way to 1450 feet per second um, for our averages so once we got these loaded up here we're going to take them out to the range and we're going to go do some shooting after that so we'll meet you guys out there Alrighty, guys now it's up to my favorite part and i think this one's going to be a lot of fun here so these ones are the 300 grain out of the 454 kazool so we're shooting these through the smith and wesson 460 at about 10 yards so we're going to get these shot up collect all of our data and then we'll meet you guys inside to talk about it there Alrighty guys, those things have a ton of kick to them, a lot of recoil. So the 454 Kazool, but we're using the 45 Colt 300 grain bullet. So the one bullet of ours, it's a, we label it as a 45 Colt, but you could definitely use it in the 454 Kazool. So that's what we did here today. Like I said, them things kind of got a lot of kick to them. I got a little blister on my hand from shooting all those, um, but still love it, right? I'd still love to be out there shooting them up. Uh, having a good time out on the range. So let's get into the data here. So on this chart, obviously this is for the 454 Kazool, the 300 grain um, bullet. The case overall length on these are 1.675. Our sexual density for this bullet is 0 0.210. Obviously this size to the 452 diameter. We shot these out of the Smith & Wesson um, 460XVR some brand new Starline brass. And for primers on this one, since it was a Kazool, it takes a CCI 450, which is the um, Magnum Small Rifle Primer. So kind of neat, that's our baseline there. Um, that when we were seeding this bullet, it worked out great. We built the case a little bit, kind of just did the normal, the normal thing for loading our lead bullets. And I talked a little bit about that in the beginning of this video. So let's talk about our powders. So for powder selection, we chose the Ramshot Enforcer, the Hodgkin H110, IMR 4227, and then our last one was the Accurate 1680. Um, so the Ramshot H110 and the Accurate are all super fine powders, especially the Ramshot Enforcer. That is the finest powder I've ever seen before. It is as fine as sand. I mean, we're talking sugar sand. It's so crazy fine. Blows my mind. I actually made a little short video about that, so you should go check that out and kind of get a little bit more look at that powder specifically. So let's talk about the powder charges. So Ramshot Enforcer, starting with that one, we started at 1,250 feet per second at 21.6 grains of powder, and then we climbed this one all the way up to 1,500 feet per second at 25 grains of powder. Um, it did good. All the powders did decent. The um, the IMR 4227 was the, probably the, the least accurate out of them all. Ramshot was somewhere, in, the Ramshot Enforcer was definitely in the middle. So then let's talk about our most accurate powder tested, which was the Hodgkin, Hodgkin um, H110. Had to think about that one for a second. So starting at 1300 feet per second, so a little bit faster than the Enforcer. And then we finished at the same speed, the 1500 feet per second, 26.8 grains of powder for 1500 feet per second for the Hodgkin H110. Like I said, that one was our most accurate powder. It had really good group sizes. Um, we're honestly almost touching all of them. Maybe a couple of them were just slightly apart from each other, but very good, extremely accurate out of this guy here. And then the next powder is the IMR4227. Now this one stood out a little bit um, compared to the other powders because it is like a, it's a stick powder. 
um, compared to a spherical powder. Um, so this one's starting at 1,250 feet per second, just like the Enforcer, at 23.9 grains of powder. And we climbed it all the way to 1,450 feet per second on this guy at 27.3 grains of powder for that one. And now for the last but not least, the Accurate 1680 started at 1,300 feet per second. And we finished this one off at 1,450 uh 32.5 grains for the max load there so just like always the red is our uh maximum suggested load and the green is our suggested starting load so uh take this data here and use it however you guys want to use it this is a good baseline for you guys um like always we'll probably always add more powders and we'll just continue to republish the videos or just add them into the charts and update the videos so we appreciate you guys watching the videos. Happy 4th of July, because today is 4th of July. Um, and go out there and celebrate. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday.